Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Tumblr tutorial. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mal and I am the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. I am so excited for today's tutorial. We are going to be doing a Buffalo Check Geode Tumblr. So we're gonna take two of my favorite Tumblr techniques or designs and merge them into one happy Tumblr. <laughs> This design idea just kind of came to me out of nowhere. I was thinking about, oh, I'm doing some geodes here, just regular ones. I'm also doing some plaid. What if I just did them together? Now in this video, I'm gonna make two different cups. Honestly, because I just couldn't settle on one color scheme. I had two color theme ideas and I couldn't pick one. So I decided to make both. If you ever wanna know where I'm getting anything I'm using in a video, I always have a list of all the supplies I use down in the description box. If there is not a link for it in the description box, I either couldn't find one or it's not available anymore, something like that. Um, I get a lot of questions about where I get things, but I always list everything in the description box. I'll also have discount codes down there for you, as well as links to my social media pages, my Facebook group, and of course my exclusive elite mentorship group, which you can sign up for at any time. We do charges on a rolling basis, so whenever you sign up, you are charged 30 days after that. You don't have to wait till the first of the month to sign up. You can join the group and join the fun at any time. So. The link is down below for that. And I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you make this Tumblr design, be sure to tag me in your photos because I want to see all of your beautiful color combos and I want to see what you guys do with this. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go. The first tumbler we're going to be using is a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven, of course. And for both of these buffalo checks, I'm going to use a template that I got from lbcreates.com. So I bought a 30 ounce size and a 20 ounce size, and I cut them out on my favorite stencil vinyl or a mask vinyl. I get it on Amazon. Um, so I cut that out and now I'm going to apply my transfer tape and apply the templates to my tumbler. So you can see here, this one I sped up a lot because my application was not very good on this template, honestly. Um, but I'm going to do the exact same thing on our socket tumbler. We are using a 20 ounce skinny straight. This one is a powder coated white one. So to apply the stencil, I'm going to go a little bit slower here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. First, I remove the border or, you know, any of the excess vinyl, and then I cut down the sides to be exactly exactly the size of my cup and then remove a little bit of the backing from my transfer tape and smooth it onto the stencil vinyl and then I place it essentially like a pattern vinyl wrap the same way. I'm going to line it up with my cup and I have a little bit of exposed transfer tape there that you can see on the end and I'm going to use that to anchor the vinyl down onto my cup. Make sure that my checks line up the best I can get them. You might have to try a couple times, I did. <laughs> and then I'm just going to gently push the vinyl onto the cup and push the backing away in the process. I like to map out my plaid pattern on a piece of paper before I go mark up my vinyl because inevitably I will mess something up in this pattern. So the way I like to do it is line up what colors I have and you'll do color number one, which should be your darkest color, color number two, which will be your mix of your two colors, and then color number three, which should be your lightest color. So now horizontally, you're gonna go color number one, your mix, color number one, your mix, all the way around. And then when you go to your next horizontal line, you'll just shift your mixes over. So essentially every other color is going to be a mix, both vertically and horizontally. So once I have my pattern laid out, I just mark it off with a Sharpie and then you're ready with your pattern. On the 30 ounce tumbler, I'm doing it kind of backwards. I'm gonna map out the geode pattern on my cup first before I map out my plaid. And on the black and white cup I'm doing, I did it after. So either way, it doesn't matter. You can map, up, map out your pattern first or you can map out your geode first. Either way is totally fine. So just using a Sharpie, I'm gonna draw a very organic kind of geode shape here. You can see it's really very flowy. <laughs> you wanna be as 
natural and organic as you can in your lines. Try not to keep anything too uniform or too straight or it'll just look like a squiggly and not a rock. Remember, this is supposed to look like a rock. So after I've got my pattern drawn out, I'm going to cut the geode lines. Just follow them with my craft knife, but don't remove your vinyl yet. You want to keep your vinyl there as long as you can throughout this entire process. And then I'll mark out my buffalo check pattern with my sharpie. So starting first with our more bright colored one, I'm going to remove all of my squares that I have labeled color number one, and I'm going to start painting those with one of my two glitter colors. Now for this one, because this is so colorful and bright, we don't really have like a darker color. So I'm just going to start with my teal. I'm going to paint all of my squares with my teal paint. I have acrylic paint and glitter glue mixed in that little cup. So I'm going to paint all of my teal squares and I'm going to glitter them using Key Largo from Create by Firefly. And that's our first color number one. It's so pretty. And then the second color we're going to use is Pink Peony, also from Create by Firefly. Now these are both the same size cut, so they're going to look very nice and uniform as a plaid. So I always try to use the same size cut um, versus like a chunky and a fine together. I feel like it just looks better when you do that. So going in next with the pink, um, I removed all of my colors or squares marked color number two or color number three, however you line it up. I'm going to paint those with my pink acrylic paint and glitter glue mixture and then glitter them with pink peony. Now once we've got our two singular colors mixed or put on the cup, we're going to mix them together. I'm going to do equal parts of each one to make our buffalo check mix here. So now I'm going to remove all of my squares that are marked with an M for mix. Now I do this a little bit differently in the second tumbler, so you'll get to see two different techniques for this style. Um, but I'm going to just base paint everything white versus using one color over the other. I'm just going to go with a basic white and then I'm going to glitter all of those remaining spots with the mix. Now moving on to the geode part of our black and white buffalo check. Now this one I decided to go full like Christmas theme with this. So we're going to do traditional black and white buffalo check and then all traditional Christmas colors for the geode part. For the black, I'm going to make a little custom mix. I want my black to sparkle under epoxy. So I'm taking Death Star, Caviar, that rhymes, Batman and Super NES, all from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I just mix those all together. It's going to give us a really nice kind of mini chunky with a lot of shimmer for our black. So you can see here, I'm mapping out my geode right over where I mapped out my buffalo check. Like I said, you can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. Just remember, keep it really organic and flowy. For this geode, I decided to make the geode portion a little bit smaller than I did in the last cup. How big you make your geodes is really just like stylistic preference. I like to do some really, really big, some a little bit smaller. It just depends on the look you're going for. So once I've cut out the geode lines, trace them with my craft knife, I'm going to remove all of my color ones, just the exact same way that we did in the last one. And we're going to go in and do all of those with our black glitter mix. Now because we have such a stark contrast between obviously the black and the white glitters we're going to use, for this buffalo check we're going to do the mix next and we're going to do our white last. I always want to do my darkest color first and work my way to the lightest color. We are going to use a custom mix for the white. I just mixed together Parabatai and Nookie, both from Peachy Olive Glitters, and then I'm going to mix, just like we did in the last one, equal parts of both of those for our mix pattern. So we're going to do this next and then save the white for last. I'm going to remove all of the 
spaces marked M horizontally next to our blacks, if that makes sense, our black glitters, work my way up, and then I'll remove all of the remaining M's going down the cup vertically and glitter all of those with our mix. Of course, you can do them all at one time. I just wanted to have as much like stencil vinyl bordering my shapes as I could, if that makes sense. So I just decided to do it this way. Either way works though. Once I've got all of my mixed glitter down, I'm going to remove all of my squares with the number three on them. That's going to be our white mix. And I'm just going to go in straight with the glitter glue. I'm not tinting it because our cup is already white. So straight glitter glue on here to make all of these remaining open squares white. Once we've got our buffalo checks done, it's time to go in and do the geodes on these cups. Now for the pink and teal one, I did go right in and do the geode immediately after glittering the plaid. On the black and white one, I waited for the plaid to completely dry before I did the geode, so totally personal preference up to you however you want to do it. I'm going to start by tinting some of my glitter glue with some tan acrylic paint. When I use gold glitters, I like to use a tan or a beige acrylic paint. I feel like they just give more full coverage as far as base goes versus using like a metallic acrylic paint or you know something like that. And I'm using a cheap eyeshadow brush from the dollar store and you can see here I'm just taking that paint and glue mixture and kind of like pouncing it into the area I want it to go. I'm not swiping my brush, I'm kind of just like dabbing my brush a little bit. The first color we're using here is Blondie from Create by Firefly and now with these you can make your geode lines as thick or as thin as you want them. You can vary your line weights throughout your geo design if you want. That's what I did here. I started with two pretty thick outer lines. So with this blondie color and then the next white I'm going to use, I made those pretty big, pretty thick. And then I kind of thinned it out as I got closer to the center of the geo. You can do it however way you want. There is really no wrong way to do this. Your lines can be thick, they can be thin, they can be super kind of wavy and round, they can be more pointed. Really just have fun with the kind of organic nature of these cup designs. So now I'm just going to continue going in with my colors. You can see here, I didn't do my white color last for this outer line, and I should have. Um, I would always recommend if you're doing white in your geodes to do all of your darker colors first. You'll see here a little bit later that I figured it out and I did do that. Um, I would just recommend leaving a space for your white glitter as you put your other colors down and then doing your whites last so they don't get contaminated with all your other glitters. And now along with using varying line weights in your geode, you can also use varying cuts of glitter, like varying cut sizes to make it really visually interesting and give it a lot of dimension. So I'm using some chunkies, some fines, some mini chunkies, just really pick colors that you like that go together and they're gonna look good together in a geode, I promise. So I'm just gonna continue doing all of these and then we will move on to the geode portion in our black and white Christmas one.
Now, like I mentioned earlier, I let the black and white buffalo check fully dry before I went in to do the geode portion, and that's because I wanted to spray seal the black and white glitters before I went in and put all these other glitters on the cup because I want to really decrease the chance of having my white glitter in my plaid get contaminated with all these other glitters. So I just spray sealed it with a coat of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum, let that fully dry, and now I'm ready to go in and do the geode on this one. One thing I like to do when I'm doing a geode is do like my first outermost line of the geode. I want to contrast as much as I can with the main color, whether it be like this buffalo plaid or just a regular like solid glitter color and a traditional geode. I want this first outer line of my geode to be drastically different from the main kind of big color if that makes sense. So for this one, I'm going to take Whoville, which is a multicolor custom mix from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's got red, green, a little blue, a little bit of opal -y kind of shift in it. Um, it's a very busy color, which contrasts really well with the black and white plaid. And like I said, I'm using very traditional Christmas colors for this one. I thought it would be really cute to do a black and white traditional buffalo check that you see all the time during Christmas and honestly all the time if you live in my house because I love black and white buffalo check, um, but it really gives me Christmas vibes, especially paired with red, green, gold, and all of those traditional Christmas colors. One thing that's really important to do in between your geode colors or lines is to take a chip brush. You can use a big one or a small one, whatever you have, and brush away very carefully, as you can see I'm doing here, any excess glitter that gets on your cup. I also like to tap off the excess. Um, this just helps prevent contamination and it really just gives your overall design a more clean, crisp look. So in between all of your glitter colors, just take a chip brush really quick, brush off any excess, tap off any excess, and then you can move on to your next color. I want to include some white glitter in my geo design here. So I'm going to, when I do this green paint, as you can see, leave a little bit of a gap where that white glitter is going to go. I want to save that and put it down for at the very last so it doesn't get contaminated with all of these darker colors that I'm using. So just follow the exact same kind of pattern that you have going in your geode, leave a little bit of a gap, and we'll come back and fill that space in at the end. We're going to be using two of the new colors from the most recent Peachy palette. The first one we're going to use for the center of our geode is called Festive Babe. It's another multicolor mix. It's got red, green, white in it. The perfect Christmas color, honestly. And then the next color we're going to use is that white I talked about earlier. We're going to be using Snow Angel, which is a really pretty opal iridescent white, kind of mini chunky color. It's really, really pretty. And it will look different on a different color base. So if you want to put it on white, it'll look a little different. And if you put it on black, it will look completely different. So it's a very versatile color. These will be available on the Peachy Olive Glitters website soon. Um, it usually takes a little bit of time to list individual colors once the palette comes out, but they will be available. Just keep an eye on the website. So once we've got all of our glitters laid down, I'm gonna let them dry overnight, make sure they're totally dry, and now I'm gonna go in and seal them all. Now if you want to, you can spray seal them with clear spray. I would recommend doing a few really heavy coats of the clear spray if you're gonna go that route, but I really worked very hard on these geodes and the buffalo check. They took me a really long time to get the glitter done, and I don't want any movement in my glitter. So I'm gonna go through and seal each color individually with the Crystal Act glitter glue. For me, this gives the best hold. My glitters don't ever move when I seal them with this glitter glue, so I'm gonna go through and just seal each color individually. This did take me, I wanna say, between like 
35 to 40 minutes to seal both of these cups. It was well worth it. Um, I would just recommend cleaning your brush or using a new brush in between colors because again, the whole point of this is to not contaminate the glitter colors. I let my glitter glue dry for the full two hours and then I went in with two thick coats of KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV. Each coat was about 30 milliliters for both of these cups. And then once that second coat was all dry, I went in and did all of my sanding, made sure that my cup was as smooth as possible because now it's time to outline our geode lines. I'm using my Posca paint pens to do this. For me, these work the best. I also really, really like the Mondo Llama brand. Those are from Target. I get my Posca paint pens at Michael's um, and I'm just using for this one, obviously traditional Christmas colors. I'm using white, red, green, gold, and basically just outlining the lines that I've already done. This is probably my favorite part of doing geodes. They're, it's all my favorite part, really. I love making geodes, but this is just so relaxing to outline and kind of just do this step. I don't know. I really enjoy it. The only thing I'm trying to do here is pick colors that contrast with the colors it's going in between. So you can see there between the white and the red, I did green because it's a contrasting color. I just want this to be very interesting visually and have like a different color each time if that makes sense anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna just outline these geodes and make them beautiful <laughs> One thing I did a little bit differently in this pink and teal design is on those two outermost glitter sections for the geode that I made a little bit bigger than all the other ones, I took a random color paint pen and just drew an additional line down the middle of those two sections just to break them up a little bit, add a little bit more visual interest. Obviously that's totally optional, but I'm really happy I did it. Once I had all my paint applied to my cups, I did let it dry overnight, and then I went in with my final two coats of epoxy. For my final coats, I use KS Resin Liquid Art Ultra UV, so their regular setting epoxy. Let that cure, and now these cups are all finished. I am so happy with how these turned out. I am a little bit addicted to doing this tumbler design, and I am so excited to have this tutorial out for you guys, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you are inspired. And I can't wait to see what you guys do using this technique. So be sure to tag me in your photos again at Made by Manny and Mel. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Okay, love you so much. Bye. This tumbler design is one that I just kind of thought of in my head, like all of them. You think of all your designs in your head, dummy. The idea just kind of like, Ugh. tutorial. The ideas 
ideas, multiple ideas, just one idea for this video, just one it's for this video. What? I'm just rambling now. I'm just talking about nothing. Talking about nothing. So you'll see two tumblers. What is wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Get it together. Hey. You think that's it? Cause you talked for like 27,000 minutes. <laughs>